Hi everybody, it's Susan from Sunrise Quilt Studio and today I'm going to work on a short project, a small project. I have a pack of charm squares left over from Christmas. This is Peppermint Bark by Basic Gray and um, I was going to make Christmas ornaments out of this but kind of ran out of time so I'm going to go ahead and use it instead of hanging on to it for another year. And so I'm going to see what I can do with this. Now my plan is maybe a table runner or a small quilt and um, I'm going to make four patches out of this. So I have this which has 42 charms in it and then I have a little less than a yard of a background fabric and this is um, just some white on white. It has snowflakes on it and this is uh, I think Muslin Basics by Moda or something like that. Oh, it's Muslin Mates by Moda and uh, so I'm going to use this and um, we'll see what I come up with. So I'm going to do a um, four patch method. It's kind of a shortcut so um, I'm going to adjust the camera so you can see what I'm doing and uh, if you like this project you know grab a pack of charm squares if you have them and um, use this method and you can make yourself a small quick project. Okay, I have my background fabric here and then I have my charms. And I'm going to pick out oh, at least 36 of these. So I'll put my glasses on here so I can see better. For some reason when I have my glasses on I can't see in the camera. I can't see what's going on so I always take them off. But normally I wear my glasses all the time. So um, here will be the the backing or the the background fabric. So I want to see if there's any charms in here that will just kind of melt away, like here. See, this wouldn't do any good as a main fabric because it would just disappear. But these would all be good. And here's another. This is like a a grunge. And but I think. I think these will work. They might be a little light, some of them, but, but that one would be fine. But I think, I think they'll be fine actually. So there's a variety, there's some blacks and then there we have stripes. Um, and there's some teals and reds. So I think we have a nice variety here. These are the lightest ones. This one is like partially light. And then I have all the teals. And these are mostly red. This one's kind of, I'll put that in the teal range. And we have greens. And then the blacks. So there's a lot of lot more greens than um, anything else looks like. But I think they'll all work good. Okay, so what I need to do next is I need to cut these um, some background pieces for this. What I'm going to do is to take two pieces, sew them down here, and then I'm going to cut them to make um, two patches and then sew the two patches together to make four patches and then I'll go from there. So I'm going to maybe hold off on the lighter ones and work with these and I'm going to count and see how many I have. Let's do this, 36. Okay, so I have 36 and then I'm going to go ahead and cut out some five inch squares and we'll get started sewing. Okay, so here's all my background yardage. So I'm going to square this up. Thank you. 
Okay, move my trash can a little closer. Okay, so now I'm gonna cut this up. So I need 36 five inch squares. And let's see, I can get two, four, six, eight. I can get eight out of a strip. my leftovers and put them to the side and then I'm gonna take my smaller ruler and I'm gonna cut two up two strips at a time I always cut from the selvage edge so that you know I save bigger pieces that way so just line everything up and then cut this down make sure I'm not getting the selvage in You know, I did find my rulers. I was so happy. I found my large cutting mat. I found my rulers. And uh, I never did find my wool mat, though. Okay, so now the object is to make two patches and then turn them into four patches. So what I'm going to do is put a print fabric right side together with the one and so I just cut right here line them up and then I'm going to sew a quarter inch away from the two opposite sides and then I will cut this way and this way and I'll have two patches so I'm going to go ahead and go over to the sewing machine and get started sewing okay so now I'm going to just chain piece all of these together and I'm going to stitch a quarter inch on the right and the left side here also opposite sides using a quarter inch seam allowance and I'm going to use a 2.0 stitch length and I have all-purpose thread in the machine and I'm going to go ahead and move my needle just one click to the right so it's going to be a scant quarter inch Just going to do this with all the fabric pieces. I get them all sewn then I'll, on one side, then I'll turn them and do the other side. So we're going to chain piece all of these to make things go a little quicker. Okay, now I have the first side of everything sewn and they're all chained together. So I got this really long chain and so I got two squares sewn together so now I just need to sew the other side there's the opposite side so I'll go ahead and do that So I have everything sewn together in pairs and I've got the seams down on two opposite sides so now I need to cut these apart and what I'm going to do is 
Let me get my rotating mat. Okay, so I'm going to use my rotating mat here. And I need to cut at two and a half in both directions. So two and a half that direction, two and a half this direction. So, and then what I have is four two patches. Like that. So now I can press these and I will press them all towards the dark and then sew them together. Uh, I'm going to intermix them with some of the others though. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these and then I'll arrange them into four patches and sew the four patches together. Okay, so now I have a huge stack of two patch units. So now I need to pair all of these up to make some four patches. So I'm going to sort through them and um, put them into stacks of colors. So I'm going to put the reds in one stack and the greens in another, teals in a third, and then the blacks in a fourth. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So now I can just sort these and decide how I want to put them together. So I'm just going to pair some up and make a stack and try not to get too many that are all the same. And these have some red and teal so I'm just going to combine them with some that have little bits of that color in it. Even, you know, a black one. And then I'm just making a stack here of all the two patches and then I will just sew down one side and we'll have them all done. So now I'm going to sew all of these two patches together to make four patches. I'm just going to chain piece them all together. Now I have all of the four patches sewn and now I need to lay them out in the way I want the quilt to go. Now there's uh, two different ways that you can do this. Um, up here I've got two different layouts here so let me separate them so you can see them a little better. Um, I don't have a design wall so I can't show you the full quilt laid out. But up here, this is just alternating. They're all in, you know, the same orientation. So like all the um, solids, all the prints are going one way, all the solids are going one way. And this layout here, I've got it turned so that I'm matching prints up and solids up. So what this would do would give you um, a four patch of prints and then a four patch of your background. So you'd have um, like a negative space here that you could do some fancy quilting in if you want to. So anyway, you can you can do this whichever way you want. If you want all of the prints to come together in one section, you can see the the squares that it makes here or in the square here, or you can just do it in a four patch like this where they just kind of run in diagonal rows. So whatever you like the best. And I think I'm going to go ahead and do the diagonal rows. Um, as I think um, 
that'll give me more of the look that I'm looking for. I'm just looking for something scrappy and um, kind of unplanned is my is my uh, idea here. So I'm gonna kind of play around with these and figure out how I want these to be laid out. And I'm kind of going to kind of do these in um, in sections. So I can only fit so much on my table at a time. So we'll see how this works out. Okay, this is what I have so far. And it's turned out okay, I think. Now, there are 72 uh, four patches, so that would be an eight by nine layout. So um, I'm liking the way it's looking so far, so I'm gonna keep working. And um, I'm gonna probably do this in sections um, four by fours, four by fives maybe. And um, yeah, a, a two four by fours, two four by fives. That'll give me four sections that I can sew together. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. So this will be one section here and I'll get this sewn together and then I'll work on another section and I'll just keep doing that until I get the whole thing built. Thanks for watching. For more quilting ideas, click on the video links. And to keep up with my latest projects, click on the subscribe button. I hope to see you again soon.